Finally, the engine is all together. After so much work, after so many days of work, this engine got to be together. As you remember, this engine came in because of a problem, a driver mistake, applied the wrong gear. And um, if you wonder how expensive is this mistake, well, to give you an estimate on how much money do we uh, invest on this truck to fix that mistake, it's nearly $27,000. That is a lot of money. And I'm going to tell you what was replaced on this engine. We replaced the crankshaft. As you saw previous on my videos, previous videos, I show how, I mean, how many components I was replacing, but I'm going to give you the resume, then all the components, then we replaced. We replaced the crankshaft, we replaced the pistons, connecting rods, liners, the flywheel, the clutch, clutch brake. We did replace uh, the transmission fluid, all coolant and um, and uh, engine oil, fuel filters, oil filters, can shaft, the exhaust and the intake can shaft both were replaced. You could see my other video what happened and uh, I did replace both because one went bad, I didn't know about the other one. Signs we already had a problem, we needed to do it before taking any chances. We did replace the rear main cover, we re the, replace the front main cover, we replace also, let's see what else we did replace, the, the oil pan as well, it broke the oil cooler, the seals of the oil cooler, the fuel pump, and let me remember what else, all the gaskets, all the main gaskets of the head and everything that comes with the uh, uh, cylinder uh, head gasket kit. Um, Mm, let's see, Look, uh, all the main and the rod bearings. Mm, I don't remember what other components. But the point is, like, we replaced so many components except for the head, the cam housing is still the same, uh, engine block, still the same, fuel module, oil module, air compressor, um, the crankcase filter, the oil separator, starter. A AC compressor and uh, alternator and some other components like that. Can you imagine we already invest $27,000 on this truck and there's still so many components that we didn't replace and uh, still there are many things that need to be replaced soon because you know this truck has already, already like 700,000 miles so other components are gonna go bad but the point is this a mistake like this can cause you to spend $27,000 or more or less depending on the damage. Sadly, this truck is not worth that much money. This is 2013. The owner of this truck bought around like $13,000, like maybe like three, four months ago, something like that. He bought it very cheap and the engine was running fine, I inspected myself and I was like wow this engine is pretty good, everything was fine, by the price he paid this engine was in a really decent shape, but it didn't last because of that mistake. So the major problem right here is that um, then um, you know you cannot tell when something like this is going to happen because it is just an error, nobody can tell that. But uh, the major mistake was of the owner, of the driver of the truck saying that he didn't and he kept on saying it until I showed him the proof and everything and he did. He accepted at the end but he was kept on saying that he didn't, it. he didn't the mistake. So uh, that was the biggest concern that I and the uh, owner of the trucks were having because uh, he didn't want to accept it. But all is done and uh, result is this, a full overhaul, engine is running, engine is nice now, it can go back to work, everything is on place. I had a little issue with the camshaft, then I didn't inspect as you saw previously, but now the engine is back on place, both of the camshafts are new. 
and engine timing is perfect and engine is running like it is normal brand new so uh, hopefully these mistakes never happen again hopefully uh, the driver doesn't do another mistake like this hopefully it's a driver that cares about the truck and um, one of the things I'm going to tell you is then you saw at the beginning how I started this truck and um, I didn't use any type of starting fluid or any type of uh, pressure pumps or something, the primer pumps, auxiliary primer pumps that you connect to the fuel module to start the engine. I didn't. I just started the engines using the primer pumps over here for the D15s because this engine is capable to start by itself. If the engine doesn't start by itself, that means then there is a problem somewhere. So, in my opinion, if you are going to start your DD15 engine after a major overhaul like this, or at least after the cylinder replacement or something like that, you have to be able to start the engine without using any help. Any help of a starting fluid or either or whatever else you can use to uh, add to the combustion chamber so the uh, explosion can happen faster so the engine speed can raise faster or by using a primer auxiliary primer pump to push the diesel to the injectors faster i believe that this is the best way because everything works the way it's supposed to work um, everything works in a one way you are not getting pressure in a different way because over pressure can cause that and by using the primer pump over here you do that you actually suck the fuel in the direction how the fuel needs to go so this is my recommendation to you if you ever do an engine if you ever trying to do something like this it's important that you take in consideration that because sometimes using different type of help to um, prime the fuel system or to start the engine faster can cause some other type of damage to the engine and this can be um, a little problem later so just keep out of mind this is my recommendation to you and now after this full uh, overhaul the only thing left over here is to do an oil change after a couple miles you can do an oil change right now after the freeze start if you want because there is a lot of stuff that is gonna be on the oil that is optional but you also can run the truck for like 3,000 miles or less and then do an oil change and that way uh, everything then the oil captures gets drained as fast as you can um, and then after that you are going to do oil change normally after the 3000 miles uh, oil change what you have to do is to inspect the, there is nothing um, that leaks there is no coolant leaks or anything there is no oil in the coolant and coolant in the oil nothing like that you have to insp uh, inspect the truck all the way all the components you work on uh, making sure that everything is in the right position nothing special it is just double checking then the engine is still running fine after 2000 3000 miles because it's very important the freeze miles of the trucks are the most important ones where you are going to be able to see if there is a mistake that happened when everything was uh, put together and that is the most important thing that you gotta do after you uh, prepare an engine like this it's very important that you take that in consideration because sometimes not paying attention to this can cause other problems because if you do fix anything that happened probably uh, i did leave something loose like for example right something happened when i was working i forgot i left a uh, uh, fuel line loose not enough to leak fuel right now but after so many miles vibration is gonna cause that little piece to start uh, getting loose and then we're gonna have some fuel leaks so that's the reason why it's to inspect it and don't wreck the engine as soon as you start it it's very important if you start this engine um, don't rev it wait until the engine gets warm and then you can rev it because you know you never know it's very important to let the engine idle for a couple minutes 
for a couple hours if it's possible and then you can rev it so that way the temperature starts raising the, uh, in the proper way nothing gets forced to work faster uh, that way everything is going to work smooth nicely make sure that there is no checking in lights on any cuts any type of warning lights they are going to say something about problems with the engine make sure that there is nothing like that if you have problems with the timing as soon as you start the engine that means that your timing is bad so you have to actually remove everything again and reset the timing you have to preset the timing again so that way that uh, helps the engine to run smooth is very important because sometimes you start the engine and then the timing there is the checking lights telling you then the timing timing erratic calm timing erratic something like that and uh, and and if that's the case possible then one of the uh, the camshaft the intake camshaft in this case it is out of timing probably one uh, two and that is enough to uh, call that code out so you have to fix that if that's the case if you have coolant leaks or something like that fix that um, and if you um, repair the engine like this and you left something very internal uh, with a problem I think it's worth to take everything apart again and fix it because you cannot just leave it like that if you forgot to if you forgot to add something for example if you forgot to add uh, the uh, piston nozzles on the bottom if you remember right now i mean i know the engine work right now the, that is not going to cause and the engine is going to get destroyed as soon as you start it but if you remember right now you have to take the engine apart underneath to fix that if you don't then you wanna have consequences. So all little things like that are going to uh, give you the ability to be a better tech or to do a better job if you are planning to do it yourself. These are just the advices I'm giving you after this uh, major overhaul and uh, very important for all of you drivers, then uh, you have to be careful when you are driving these machines because uh, you can hear how much money this uh, engine is spending after this mistake and um and this doesn't doesn't mean that it's not going to happen again it depends on the person that is going to drive it again to see if this mistake is going to happen probably it's going to be a different person and this person has to be extra careful this time to don't do things like this because after spending this much money and then something happens the same way again it is going to be very painful for the owner of the truck because the um, amount of money he invested on this truck is not worth on the vehicle. The vehicle is worth less than that. But it is enough to keep working around. He is going to make the money after a couple months working with the truck. The truck is going to make the money back. And that is the important. That's the reason why he decided to invest the money. And, uh, and that will give him the ability to keep... Uh, I mean to give him a peace of mind and this truck is going to be in a really good condition instead of buying another truck because he could buy another truck but he never know he could just buy a different truck for forty uh, for thirty thousand dollars but he never gonna know how it's gonna be the condition and everything you never know in this case he already know and the result is then we have the engine ready to go probably tomorrow this engine is gonna go back to work I'm not sure, but uh, let's hope that everything is fine. So far, everything seems to be fine. But tomorrow, we're going to re-inspect it again to see the, uh, if there is any mistake or something with more calm. Because uh, the freeze time, when you start the engine, the freeze time you start the engine is the... You have so much tension thinking what can go wrong, what can go right. And uh, that is the reason why it, it takes so much attention. But uh, the second time that I ride right now, the engine is off. I can start it with more confidence, but it is that is hard to see if there is something uh, wrong with the engine. So tomorrow with the deadline, we're gonna see if there is something going on. And if it is something there, we're gonna fix it before the engine leaves. I know that this is going to be air leaks or uh, things like that, minor things like that, but it has, the engine has to be running smooth 
no oil leaks, especially in the area we work. If you work in some area, other areas, uh, but in the areas then there is an oil leak, you didn't work well. I mean, that's, that doesn't have nothing to do with you. But it has to have no leaks, no coolant leaks, no fuel leaks, nothing like that. But uh, this ends the sequelos videos of uh, this major overhaul on this engine. There were a couple videos. You wanna see all the videos, you can follow my videos and you wanna see how many videos I did. But this is the last one. This is the one, then, um, then it's gonna end everything. And it was a success. The engine is running fine with no problems after spending a lot of money, which that is the way it gotta be. Experience is very important when you do things like that, and that is important, then you do the same. If you are going to do something like this, if you are a mechanic and you are going to do a crankshaft replacement, don't just do it because you know, do it because you are confident and you take your uh, time to do, you take your uh, uh, you inspect every single thing you do. As I say in my other videos, you have to do things like it is the first time you do it, so that way you don't do mistakes because overconfidence makes you do mistakes. But I guess this is all. Uh, hopefully, uh, we don't hear about this engine anymore. Uh, this engine goes away and never comes back because that is the way you gotta be. And uh, if it comes, well, probably it's gonna be for something else. I hope that. That's the way you gotta be. And um, I wanna keep this, this engine terminated. Not terminated because it's gone. Terminated because it's the job is gone. And, uh, and ready to work. It's ready to kill the streets right now with lots. And uh, hopefully we are going to see it soon. And if I do see it soon, probably I'm going to uh, do another video showing you the update on how the engine is running so you can see what is the next step on how this uh, is gonna go, if there is something else to do or something like that. But I hope you, li you like all these videos I did about this engine and if you didn't uh, make sure to comment below you can leave all those uh, comments probably you are going to uh, give me some ideas and probably i didn't mention here and that could be helpful for another video uh, uh, if uh, you have different thoughts different experience uh, based on these repairs or stuff like that please comment below answers is very important too then you come below because if you comment below is important that way we can uh, interact with each other we can learn more things we can uh, actually uh, add more content to the video then can be helpful for others but if you want to ask me something directly go to instagram francisco maya youtube um, just be patient at the moment to answer the questions from me to you. Want to help me? Go to the description of this video. I have details how to send support to the channel. So that way I can create content like this for you and give you more information about it. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this.